Okay, last we left off, it's been a couple weeks since we played this, but we left off on zone 7. Um, which is the cute little mushroom zone. I'm not sure how much more we have in this, like how many uh, zones there are total in each storyline. I think there was 12 in Sonic's side, but I'm not sure if Sonic and Knuckles' storylines are the same. Um, so we'll see. How's the volume, by the way? Does it sound okay? Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, this is where I get to see how I don't have any gas emeralds. <laughs> Yay, good job, me! You have nothing! <laughs> Excellent. Uh, let me make sure I know how to save state. Yes, I do. I absolutely love this game on PC. I, um... I find this one to be pretty hard, Kurt. Like, I really liked Sonic 2. I felt like the difficulty curve was, well like, done. way more forgiving. This one I find to be a lot more difficult for me. I don't know if that's just a me problem or not, but... I found this one to be quite a bit harder. But I don't know, maybe that's just me. Get up the wall. Maybe it's easier to play as Knuckles too, I don't know. I still found that some of the levels were pretty difficult even playing through Knuckles' side. Compared to Sonic 2, I think. See, there I go dying. Thanks for the well done, by the way. <clears throat> I think I played after I finished Mario Teaches Typing, so I might have been on a roll. Dude, I fucking loved Mario Teaches Typing. I loved that game so much growing up. I'm convinced this is why I can type fast. Not because I played um, a lot of World of Warcraft and typed a lot, but it's because of Mario Teaches Typing. Do you watch the Knuckles series? No, I haven't. Is it good? I found out it's delisted on Steam because of the Origins release. Oh, really? That's lame. Did it come with Origins, I guess? I didn't realize that. I need to get Sonic uh, Generations rolling for us. Like, that would be a really fun one to do on stream. How fast can you type? Uh, it depends on the day and the keyboard, but I feel like probably around 100 words per minute usually. I'm pretty fast. I had Mario teaches typing as a kid, but I learned more from Mavis Beacon. Oh, I never had my Mavis Beacon. I don't think I know that one. Typing of the Dead was also a favorite. I can't find that game anywhere, Kurt. I've seen it before and it looks awesome. But I've never actually gotten to play it. I have it on my Steam wishlist, but I want to get it. Because it's like not on Steam anymore. You know what I mean? It's like got taken off of Steam. Which is a shame. Because it looks so goofy. We need more typing games for adults. <laughs> not to learn how to type, just for fun. Oh. Oh shit! Leave me alone. Is this an actual bonus? It is. Nice. Okay. Ah, shit. One of these days, I'll get one of these. We had whole units in high school, computer lab with Mavis Beacon. That's so fun. I've never played one of those. I don't even know what Mavis Beacon is. The graphic showing the stuff you type is on a typewriter. Oh, that's so cute. I love that. I can never learn how to type properly. I've just fallen into fast chicken typing. I mean, hey, whatever works for you, though. You know, it's like, doesn't really matter. Unless your job involves you, like, typing super fast. You know, I feel like it doesn't really matter. Like, someone who works as, like, a... Like in a court office, you know, typing really fast on one of those like weird typography thing machines. That's kind of crazy. Uh, it's just a typing lesson program with a fake lady named Baby Speaking. <laughs> I mean, that sounds up my alley. She has a cool name. I 
fuck with Mavis Beacon. I don't know who she is, but I fuck with her. Launch me. Yay, we got a- we actually got a checkpoint. <laughs> I feel like we haven't gotten a checkpoint in this whole level. Ah! Another one! Oh shit! Boss time. A stenographer. Yeah, that's the one. Thank you. It's a good name. It's a strong... It's a strong name, maybe speaking. Wait, this is this boss. I feel like this boss fight is different than when we fought him with uh, uh, Sonic, right? I could be wrong. I should have made a save state. <gasps> I should have made a save state. Duh. This time I will. Uh, Typing of the Dead Overkill is on Steam. Oh, is it really? For some reason, I thought they took it down for a while. I might have to pick it up. It seems like a really fun game. Thanks for letting me know. For oh, shit, I lost. For some reason, I was thinking it got taken down. Ah! Wanda Gamble on his turn into Knuckles. Yeah, we finished it. We beat the game, so we went back to this since we hadn't finished it yet. Figure we may as well get back to it, you know, knock it out. A little bit of a change of pace. Oh shit. Oh, right away. We can't leave games unfinished, you know? That's just illegal. It's against the law. Uh, you could stream it. Typing in the dead. That'd be fun. That'd be really different. Oh, thanks for linking it, Scarlet. That's nice. Appreciate it. It's like 20 bucks, I think, right? I remember looking into it a while back. Be sheet. Hey, get out of here. Uh -huh. Was it a pretty win? No, but it was a win nonetheless. <clears throat> uh, there are a few typing video games outside of Typing of the Dead. There's Ep History and its sequel too. I've never even heard of that. Are they fun? Typing games are an underrated genre, in my opinion. I think we need more typing games in our lives. What is this? this little switch here. I don't know what that is. Don't know what it was and I'm leaving it alone. What this way? I think I want a new jumpstart series. <gasps> That would make me so happy. You remember when we streamed Jumpstart first grade? <laughs> that was so fun. You know what's so random, Kurt? Is that uh, I upload my VODs to Tube, you know? And my most watched VOD on Tube is <laughs> my Jumpstart first grade <laughs> video. <laughs> and I'm like, why? <laughs> like, who asked for this? <laughs> So if anybody's looking for content they want to create on YouTube that wants hits, Jumpstart First Grade is open, wide open, because people still watch my shitty unedited VODs of Jumpstart. So you can do better than my video, I promise. Because the algorithm is pulling it up. The nostalgia hits hard on that one, it really does. I, I only really play Jumpstart first grade and maybe some of second grade the one with the frog but i didn't play that much of it i think first grade was like where it was for me i played a lot of that one 
And I remember playing Math Blasters. We've talked about Math and Reading Blasters in here a lot, too. The one that has the, uh, the little... Um... What? He's like a little green alien. I love those games so much. What is this for? What that was. Oh, I never played Spy Fox. I liked the Freddy Fish games a lot when I was growing up. Um, but I've since played some, uh, Pajama Sam, but I never- oh, I never grew up with Spy Fox. Um, I just super don't do YouTube much, but one time I did a test recording of my SNES capture by beating a boss in Thea 2. This one boss, no commentary, and it had over 5,000 views. Isn't that so random? The YouTube algorithm makes no sense to me. Not that any social media anything makes sense to me, but YouTube especially makes no sense to me. Um, I think I needed that thing that I just lost. Get up there. Chill. Stop floating. What's happening? Bruh. Chill. Stop it. Stop it. We're gonna freak out. Land! There we go. Nailed it. Sheesh! In the US. Um, I feel like I can't zone out on YouTube anymore. The algorithm is like Spotify and only shows me the same shit. It's true! And I hate, unless you have YouTube, uh, premium, it'll like do the thing where if like you walk away, um, it'll play ads that are like 40 minutes long. And I'm like, how dare you do this to me? Like, all I did was walk away and have a video on while I'm like cleaning or whatever. And they'll put like a 40 or 50 minute long advertisement in between your videos. And I'm like, that's so rude. The only full VOD that got any views was a playthrough of Imagine Party Babies. Stop. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> I love that. I love that so much. Isn't YouTube funny like that? Yeah, I super don't try with YouTube either, just because I don't really have the time to edit down my videos. Um, I kind of, between work and the time I spend streaming and time I want to spend doing other things, it's just not really feasible for me to edit VODs, but... It's a boss. What is this? Yes, it is a boss. Oh shit, okay. The internet is unusable without ad block. I know, it's terrible. They are out of control. I don't ad block for Twitch, but I feel like YouTube is broken without it. It really is. It's terrible. I save my VODs and download ones that I might edit later, but I super don't have time or energy. Yeah, it's same. I feel the exact same way, Liar. It's just editing videos, I it's just like I if I ever wanted to make streaming my career, I would obviously have to learn. But as of right now, it's just oops, it's just not like a reasonable way for me to spend my time. Oh, nice job, Fish. Immediate death. We have to do this with one ring. About to, we're about to learn today. Oh, nice. Maybe we don't even need one ring. Gamer. Gamer! See ya! Nice. Thank you! Appreciate it. Whoa. Thanks for the whoa, Colin. Zero ring life. Yeah, for real. <laughs> now where are we going? Oh, this fucking level. Flying battery zone. I remember this level. Hmm, wonder why I remember it. Mm hmm. I was vibing to the Knuckles rap. Oh my god, are you talking about Pumpkin Hill? Fucking love Pumpkin Hill.
Back to lurking, gotta keep pra uh, practicing. No worries, Liar. Thank you so much for hanging out. I really appreciate you. We'll see you next time. Thank you so much for the good luck. Oh shit! I, uh, yep. Didn't mean to do that. I think we'll continue with three lives from this zone, though, right? Indeed, that and the underwater one. Oh my gosh, so catchy. I love Sonic Adventure 2, truly. I could play those games and never play anything else. I realize they're not like the best of polished games, but like I love them so much. They just hold such like a special place in my heart. I think that's the whole reason why I like the Sonic series is because, because of the Sonic Adventure games. Like, I don't- I didn't really grow up playing the, the 2D side-scrolling ones. So it's like, I don't know, that's like part of it for me. Oh shit! There I go. Sonic Adventure 2 is my favorite for GameCube. Me too. The soundtrack really does go hard. In this level and in Sonic Adventure Countless hours, me too. I never 100 percent it though. I should probably eventually try to do that one day. I never sat down and went to get all the emblems. Because some of them are just like a pain in the ass. But I need to do that someday. There's so much to do in that game to get 100%, especially if you're counting all the, like the Chow Garden stuff. Like, it's just a lot. But maybe I'll do it someday, just for funsies. Hi Tuba, what's up? How you doing? It's good to see you. Ah. There were two stories that were simultaneous. Yeah, and it was so well done, too. Like, the voice acting was super goofy and fun. Like, I don't know, I love that shit. How? Oh. <clears throat> um, gives me endless possibilities. Agreed. I still need to play Shadow the Hedgehog. That's on my list. I've been wanting to play that. Getting all A-ranks was quite a hassle. Oh, I can only imagine. Cause there's no way to like cheese it, you just have to get good. And I just can't. I simply can't get good. There's a, a problem. Hi Ace, welcome in! I'm pretty new to the 2D Sonic games, so I'm learning as I go. We were just talking about the the 3D like Sonic adventures, because that's what I grew up playing. Um But I have liked what I've played so far of the 2D series. I've played one, two, three and knuckles, and Sonic Advance so far. Um, I've heard that I- oh shit. I've heard that I need to play, um, Sonic CD. I've heard that one's a really good one to get into as well. Fuck. Gonna hop off for some Naruto, uh, episodes. Oh my gosh, no worries. Enjoy your Naruto. And thank you so much for hanging, Kurt. I really appreciate it. We'll see you soon. Have the best time, Date by Yoen. Oh, I'm gonna die. I remember uh, getting Sonic Adventure on the Dreamcast on launch. I loved Sonic Adventure so much. I had it on the Dreamcast as well. I played Sonic Adventure 2 on uh, the GameCube though. We'll see you later, Curry. Thanks for hanging. Enjoy Naruto. <laughs> Date by <Bayo. laughs> Uh, don't forget about Knuckles Chaotix. I don't even know what that is. You know me, I'm not a Sega girl. I played Sonic Heroes though. I remember playing- so I never like got very far in Sonic Heroes, but I remember playing it here and there. Um, I guess I can go this way? Oh, this is the end? That's it? No, it's fake. It's wrong. It's illegal. I bought it. I believed it, too. The game tricked me, and I fucking believed it to the very end. <laughs> so rude, honestly. Leave it to me to be gullible enough to believe a game tricking me.
Nice. I think this will always be my favorite Sonic game, but that's probably because it's the only one I played as a kid. That makes a lot of sense. Um, I think that's the same reason why I love Sonic Adventure 2. It's because it's like, that was the one I grew up with. I didn't like how I had to play all the characters at once. Yeah, some of the characters were... That was rude. Some of the characters were more fun to play than others. You know? Like, I know some folks really hated playing as the, uh, the robots, like Tails and Eggman. But for me personally, I liked the mech levels. I just didn't like so um, Knuckles and Rouge's levels very much. I found them to be pretty, like, especially like Security Breach and some of the other levels that just take forever. It's just like such a, I don't know, it changes the pacing of the game a little bit for me. Where you're just like, I don't want to get stuck here looking for crystals. You played this one at a friend's house a bunch? Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I never had any Sega consoles other than Dreamcast. Um, but that's all I had. And even then, I didn't have that many games for the Dreamcast. I had like three. I had Sonic Adventure, Echo the Dolphin, and um, Toy Commander, and that's it. <laughs> Why did I not get one of those rings? Rude. Uh, Roos and Knuckles levels were brutal. Yeah, they were just so hard. Um, great, thanks for being here, by the way. I, um, I feel like a lot of the Rouge and Knuckles levels were fun. It was just the ones that weren't fun were, like, super not fun. Like, Mad Space can go fuck itself. Rouge's levels are worse. Oh, 100% agree. Rouge, Rouge's levels are awful. There's a couple of Knuckles that are rough, but Rouge's are just on a whole nother level. <laughs> Thanks for the wall. I think I want to go this way. Let's make a little save state so I don't have to redo all that. Over. Echo on Dreamcast was a huge letdown. I never actually finished it, but it was the only uh, only Echo game I've ever played, so I didn't really have anything else to base it on. Um, but I don't know. That being said, I'd, I'd love to try to finish it someday. Because <laughs> I still have it for the PlayStation. I bought it for a couple dollars because I just wanted to try it. It was uh, Echo the Dolphin Defenders of the Future. So someday I'd like to give it a try. Even though I know it's probably like not the best Echo game. But it can't possibly be the worst one, right? I didn't have Marvel vs. Capcom 2, no. Sadly. How do I get up there? This way? I don't know how to get in there. Did I trap myself? 2D Echo games are good, they're just very hard. Yeah, I feel like I've watched enough of- oh shit, enough people play them on, on Twitch that like I get the vibe of the Echo games and they seem like you'd almost like need a walkthrough to enjoy them, like as a first time playthrough. What are you supposed to do? There's like no way to go this way. How many Echo games even are there? I'm not sure how many there are. I've only ever played uh, Defenders of the Future, and even then it wasn't- I never made it very far. Guess this is where I'm supposed to go? Potentially? This looks right. get around all this shit. I can't remember where I was when I got my Sega, but I had this game, Sonic 2, and some neat flight simulator. The game in particular was a multi-month session <laughs> in middle school. That's awesome. I uh, I wish I could have gotten more into these as a kid, but I never did. Sad when I finally got a Dreamcast, they discontinued it. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, I really, really liked the Dreamcast uh, memory cards. I remember thinking that, like, the little memory cards with the screens on them were so cool. I remember being like, whoever came up with this idea had their shit together. Because being able to have like your chows in them when you were playing Sonic and stuff, it was just such a cool mechanic. Except when the battery died in your memory card and then you were kind of fucked. I really wanted that ring. Damn it. It's fine. Safe state.
The chows, I know, the chows and the freaking memory cards were the best. They're the best. Battery lasted like four hours. I know, they didn't last very long. I would always kill my battery and lose my chows. It was like the saddest thing ever. Girl. I'm glad I made a safe state right here. This is a dangerous spot. <laughs> I uh, I grew up playing a lot of Mario games and a lot of Pokemon games. I think Pokemon, Mario, um, Banjo-Kazooie, those are like my sweet spots for nostalgia. I guess like Dragon Warrior Monsters is pretty like sweet spot nostalgia for me. Um, but I think Sonic Adventure particularly is... Thank you for the ending, bud. Your penis in the I'm not in a safe spot to, to salute you. I'm so sorry. I couldn't offer you an 07 because I was scared I would die. It was nothing personal, though, I promise. I wanted to salute, but I was scared to die. Shit. No! Give me away! Ah! Ace, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. I can't believe I'm all the fucking things again. Coming up on a boss. Like I might be. Where where am I supposed to go? Oh, down here. Okay. I'm gonna run out of time. I can feel it. Oh nice. Maybe not. Oh god, I remember this fuck. I lost it. Okay. Well, that's okay. At least we made it here. I now know where I'm supposed to go. Hopefully we can find enough rings. Oh shit, I have to do this with no rings. Well, this sucks. Um. Well, I'll try it. We'll try it. Hi, Quo, what's up? How you doing? Diddy Kong Racing? Oh my gosh, Diddy Kong? Oh. Okay, maybe we just go back here then go back do this one more time and get more rings because we're not gonna be able to do that boss with, <laughs> with no rings it's just not gonna happen dude Diddy Kong Racing hits the music in that game is just like otherworldly it like transports me to an easier time like I don't know what it is about the music in that game but it's perfect no notes it's the best oh my gosh it was so hard you know what's so funny I played so much Diddy Kong Racing as a kid, but I never actually unlocked the space world. Like, I never got there. So, it's so interesting to me that even now as an adult, I've never gotten that on my cartridge. I need to do it someday, just, just for a principle's sake. It's gotta happen. The versatility of the- ah, oh, fuck, of the three vehicles. Agreed, it's just so neat. Uh, going home from a tournament because if you only if, because few people showed up. Aw, dang, that sucks. I'm sorry. I hope you had a good time, anyways. I saw a post on Instagram and it had a photo of a Game Boy Color in the backseat of a car and said, "This is how we played Game Boy." Yeah, it's so nice. Even though I got yelled at for and when I was in the car and would have the car like overhead light on, my parents were like, "Bitch, turn that shit off. I can't see." Which is funny because now I'm like, I don't see how you couldn't see. Like, I think you're lying. I 100% of that shit. I need to try it someday, Kimo. I always struggle with the, um, the silver coin challenges. I've never been, like, good at <laughs> getting through them, but I need to just buck up and fit. <clears throat> Those can be hard. They really are difficult. Like, I've just never been good at them. There was like several levels that I could never do. Here we go. 11 rings. That's doable. Hi, Kokiri! We winning? We are winning. We're doing our best to be winning at least. 
Oh, you clown. You may ring. Bonk. Bonk. This game is peak. I've never actually finished uh, Knuckles' side, so I'm excited to find it. Maybe we'll be able to finish it tonight. I'm thinking we might be able to. We're gonna try. We beat the uh, Zelda CDI game before this too, but it was pretty short, so... We figured we'd swap to this in the meantime. But I hope you're having a great Sunday. Thanks for being here. Ah, cheater. I couldn't even get to that. Is that a conqueror in your background? Yeah, it is the one that talks from Fangamer. It's so, so cute. I love it so much. Here, I'll show you. Make a little save state here. Show him off to you. He's the best. If you like Conquer, I recommend this to anybody. It's the it's the greatest. And his little crown is magnetic too. Look, you can take it on and off and it like snaps back on with little magnets. Look at his big tail. His little hoodie comes on and off too. Oh. And the little tag on his uh, hand is the money from the game. Money! I fucking love this Conqueror so much. He's the best. He's the best. I'm so glad I got him. He's still for sale too. You can get one from Fangamer. Strip him. No. I'm afraid I won't be able to get the jacket back on. <laughs> I've never taken it off. You know what I mean? Sometimes shit like that won't go on the way that it came. And then I'd be tilted. Fangamer makes the best plushies. They really do. I can't stop buying them. It's a problem. I still want the mumbo one. Hey, Volk, what's up? How you doing? It's good to see ya. How's your day? You beat one to Gamelon? Yeah, we did. It only took us like two and a half hours, so I figured we'd uh we'd swap to some Sonic for a little while, see if we can finish it. And if not, we can at least make some progress on it. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty short, but I had a really good time with it. You told me how many zones I have left of this folk, and I forgot. <laughs> I don't know how close we actually are, but. Um, did you find the fairy bread? I found... I found bread, but I feel like I never needed it. It was the bread that attracts, like, all the birds, right? But I never, like, really needed it. You can definitely finish this tonight? Okay, cool. I feel like we're making good progress already. This is gonna squish me, isn't it? Ooh, scary. You're doing great, thank you. I don't remember if the bread has a legit use of some sort. Yeah, it's like, it was weird because the bread like just at attracted like the weird birds. And I was like, okay, I used it by accident. And then I was like, oh shit, I gotta go get more bread. And then we ended up beating the game and never needing it. So I went and got more bread for no reason. And I was like, I don't really understand what the purpose of this bread was, but... I guess it was just if the birds were giving you hell and you wanted to kill them? I don't know. I don't understand. Bro, what is Knuckles doing? Climb up there. Hi, Themo Worm. Welcome in. The purpose of the bread is to be delicious. You're so right. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> Why is he, like, not jumping up there? What is happening? Confused. Am I going the wrong way? Jump! Oh my god, I'm gonna freak out. What are you doing? I might expect you to use the spring. What spring? Is it spring? Oh, I didn't know that was a spring. Thank you. Realize. Fire spring. Didn't know. Thank you! <laughs> Thank you! Durr. Just me making things harder for myself, as usual. Climbing didn't work though. Yeah, the edge was kind of wonky. Ah, oh, shit. 
Damn. Things are going great, you know. How about you? We're having a, a great evening of playing Zelda and Sonic in one night. It's so rare that I switch games midstream. It's like a treat. It's like a little treat when we get to switch games midstream. You know, ah, fuck. You know what I mean? We never do it, so it's kind of nice. We should probably make a little save state here. <gasps> Aw, dang it. I did the thing. <laughs> That's what I get. <laughs> Nobody perceived. Nobody perceived. <laughs> Hi, Dreams. Welcome in. <laughs> I think you got a checkpoint. Yeah, good thing. <laughs> good thing I got a checkpoint, Volk, and then fucking loaded my save state by accident. <laughs> Typical fish move. Leave me alone. Typical fish move. Luckily, it didn't take us too far back. Uh, how was Zelda? Oh my gosh, it was so fun. I had a great time with it. It's such like a, I don't know, it's such a specific vibe, those games. I loved it. I loved it so much. I wish more games had that kind of like, art style, because I love it. Um, so I've already played, um, Faces of Evil. I played it about a year ago on stream. Um, I think there's one other one that I haven't played. But I, I've heard from folks that it's not very good. I don't know if that's the case, but... <clears throat> I haven't had dinner? Oh my gosh, you gotta go eat. You have to go eat. <clears throat> uh, this is a game with a similar art style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would love to play RZ. Everyone's been talking about it. I watched Duchamp play some of it. Zelda's Adventure? Yeah, but I've heard folks say that it's not quite as charming as the other uh, Zelda CDI games. I'm not against trying it. It could be really fun. I just, uh, from according to folks, it's just not like the, the best of the CDI games. Your lunch was screwed up? Wait, what happened with lunch? It's different? That's too bad. I mean, I'm still willing to try it. Not, you know, just because it's different doesn't mean I'll hate it, but... Ah, I'm stuck. You're doing amazing. Oh, thanks, Sonny. I appreciate it. Were the other two good? Do you mean uh, the other CDI game that I played? I think they're both really good. I almost think that the ambiance of Faces of Evil is, like, funnier than Wand of Gamelon. Like, there's more, like, goofy shit that happens, in my opinion. Um, so I think I might have liked Faces of Evil a little bit more. Uh, like, I liked the little weird, like, clown area. There was like just weirder shit that happens. Oh, this one's not a spring. Shit. <clears throat> it's kind of jank. Should I repost? Should I repost what? I might have missed your message. It's possible. Sorry about that. <clears throat> um, Just sad that Wanda is the only game. Zelda is the protagonist. It really is kind of sad, isn't it? My car's driver's side inside handle snapped. Oh, that's a really bizarre problem. Sorry that happened. That's frustrating. Weird car problems like that are so frustrating. Sorry that happened. Um, hopefully it's an easy and like not super expensive fix. Oh dang, that was scary. Hi Kyo, what's up? How you doing? <clears throat> um, Faces of Evil, you can't go full. You killed me to a wizard dude only to reply to- Yeah, good! <laughs> that was fucking great. <laughs> You're existing. I feel that. Well, I hope, uh, I hope you've had, like, a chill weekend, at least. We're doing pretty good. Uh, we beat Wand of Gamelon earlier. Now we're just, like, chilling with some Sonic. Having a good time. Can't complain. Am I gonna fuck this up? I really would like to be able to do this. For once. I don't know the purpose of this, but I think I'm finally doing it right. I've never actually been able to pull this off, so I'm hoping maybe I get something. Did I do it this time? Am I not collecting them? 
I thought they were like stacking at the bottom and I'd get them at the end. Damn it. Damn it. Did I just throw them all in the garbage? You're supposed to collect just one? Damn, I thought I was like getting all of them. I was like, I'm a fucking professional. Is he gonna let me try again? That was really cool though. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad, I appreciate that. Wow, wow. I don't know what that was. I didn't get anything. Oh, bubble. I got a bubble. Okay. I got a bubble. That's acceptable. I guess. I get fucking squished. I would have preferred something a little cooler. That's alright, I'll take a bubble. Acceptable, I guess. The fuck is a flying battery? I don't... Oh. Like, several ships making up a battery? You know what I mean? Like, not like a lithium-ion battery, but like... Like a battery as in, like... I don't know. You know what I mean? There's another definition for battery that I can't think of right now. <laughs> it's not clicking right now. <laughs> the bees with colors are various shields. Oh, RIP bitrate by the way. Bye! You guys can't see my face anymore. When that thing's spinning, my face turns into nothing. I turn into a faceless being while we're playing slots. The salt and battery? Maybe that's what I'm thinking. Reap says it's a battery that flies, obviously. <laughs> a battering ram? Oh, maybe that's what I'm thinking. Oh, we got a jackpot. Nice. You should be a real scandalous. You went pixelated. Yep, we have to censor me. <laughs> Yo, we have five lives. This is a fucking first. I don't think I've ever had that many lives in this game. fuck battery that was hard to pull out and you pull too hard and it flew. It's like me with my Wiimote every single time I have to change the batteries. Where did I come from? This way. Just lost my shield. Okay, I came back. Almost as if doing well in bonus minigames yields, yields good things. Thanks, Gold. Almost like it, huh? Who would have thought? Who could have ever thought that that's how my life would go if we did okay at minigames? Oh, fuck me. That squished me for real? Rude. Don't allow it. I think that that's true. Eyes? What are those? Just more and more questions. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what you guys are talking about. This is all a mystery to me. Hi, Sonic. How you doing? Welcome in. <clears throat> Twitch recap of last month is there now. Oh, nice. Heck yeah. I love that they make those now. They're so fun. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. Safe state. Crack knuckles. Ready? <clears throat> the newest part of the system is eight years old. Oh, really? Damn. Damn. I hope the night's going well. It is going well. Thanks for asking. Yeah, why do we have 214 rings? This is ridiculous. I gotta hit this thing. I guess I just have to survive. I remember fighting this, but I can't remember how to hit it. Sure, that's all I have to do. Let's wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More! Let's fucking go. Ah, that's so fucking rude. That's just mean. Uh, the game is like you're too. Ex you're excited about all your rings. We need to get you to call. You're getting way too excited about your rings over there, babe. You need to go relax. Get humbled. <laughs> I 
<clears throat> Why are we getting so many Eggmans now? <laughs> we need to switch machines. get it yet. I'm not sure, Reed. A uh, little recap thing. I don't know if it's on mobile or not. Oh, shit. I remember this part. Stressful for no reason. It's so stressful that my legs are twitching. Girl, go. Wait, am I going the right way? Oh, wait for this, I guess. Oh, thanks for the clip. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wait a minute. This is in soccer. Oh, shh. Stressful. I made a save state. Back to Sonic 3, yeah! We never finished it, so I know we kind of got distracted by some other shit in the middle there, but we had to go back to eventually, you know? We had to. It was it was essential that we ended up back here. Because I didn't want to ditch- I hate, like, ditching games that we didn't finish, you know? So even though we're going to be starting new games- Oh, you guys know what we're doing next Sunday, a week from today? <gasps> I'm so excited. We're going to be doing our cosplay stream and doing some uh, Super Mario Sunshine crowd control. And I'm gonna be dressed like Petey Piranha. And I'm so fucking excited, it's gonna be so stupid. <laughs> I'm so excited. Chrono Trigger? No, not Chrono Trigger. Come on now, me. Oh, that's too cool too, I guess. <laughs> Did the costume come? Oh yeah, I've got almost all the pieces of it. I'm waiting on one more thing, Pookie. Cause it's like a bunch of little pieces parts that I've been waiting for. Um, but yeah, most of it's here. I'm also so excited. It's gonna be so stupid. I just love doing this stupid costume. Why can't I time this right? Just watch the old Knuckle series that came out. How do you like it? I've not watched it yet. I hope you can fit in frame with a big ass flower head. I was kind of thinking that. I hope I can see. With the way my costume is, I'm thinking I might have trouble seeing the game, which could be really funny. I mean, that's kind of how Eggman was too, because I have to wear these really dark sunglasses. So seeing the game could be kind of interesting. I forgot about seeing. Yeah, I'm going to be a little hindered for sure. Yeah, my piranha co We're going to do that next Sunday. We're going to play some... Um, Mario Sunshine crowd control while I'm dressed as PD Piranha next Sunday, so I'm very excited. Yeah, it's crowd control. Exactly. You guys can help me. Although I do need someone who's good at, um... Oh no, I figured it out. Never mind, never mind, never mind. I, re I messed with it earlier today to figure out the half presses with the GameCube controller on here, and I got it figured out. <laughs> Who needs to see? You'll just be dying a lot. You're, you're so right. <laughs> you're so right. One of my top five Marios. Yeah, we've actually never played, uh sunshine on stream before you there which is surprising i really like mario sunshine uh maybe we'll try to like play it all the way through if we're doing it i think it could be a fun one hinder didn't they sing loops of an angel yes it's really good to hear your voice saying my name and it sounds so sweet Coming from the lips of an angel Hearing those words, it makes me weak Let it down Ever say my name I don't know the words But girl, fuck You make it hard to be faithful With the lips of an angel Come here, you fucking Eggman 
which version are you playing on Switch? Oh, I thought you were asking me which version of Lips of an Angel I was singing. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> you know the version. You know. I am playing Sonic 3 and Knuckles on my super real Sega Genesis. What are you talking about? Hi, Settler. What's up? 10 out of 10 cover theme. Can you look at the lyrics? Oh, yeah, it's a terrible song. It's about cheating. Don't cheat. Don't cheat on your partners. It's not fucking- not very punk rock, alright? Cheating is anti-punk rock. <laughs> Peach's version, exactly. I wish I wasn't so talented at this game. Because then I- then I could do it even better, you know what I'm saying? If I wasn't- if the talent really wasn't winning. The <laughs> next American Idol right here, thank you. <laughs> Trying to not be negative self-talking. Trying to be better. Uh huh. Go. Which version of Sunshine? Oh, I'm playing just the dolphin one for crowd control. Because you have to have, in order to use crowd control, you have to use dolphin. I used to be so much better at old school platformers, but I'm rusty. Yeah. I'm not trying to say that I'm bad at old school platformers, but you know. I'm not the best. Like I've said many times, we're sightseers. Hey, look at that. Perfect run. See ya. See you later. Yeah, it's hard when you're used to all the quality of life stuff. I understand completely. Maybe one of my favorites. I agree. I'm very much a platform person. And we sure saw some sights today. We really did. Sandopolis zone, baby. What happened to the greatest Zelda game? Hi, Fluffy. Hi, Zeke. Welcome in. We finished it already. We beat it. So we swapped back to Sonic. It's pretty short. I'm oh, yeah. Good job, Fish. Nice. Didn't want that ring. They didn't want that. <clears throat> I tried to wall jump in Super Mario World. I forgot I couldn't. I understand completely. Like, wait, what the heck? And your brain is like so wired to wall jump and do all this crazy stuff, and the game's like, nah, you can't do that here. Have you ever 100% sunshine? No, I haven't. I feel like I get frustrated with the blue, the blue coins. We've done Faces of Evil on stream before, like a year ago, but I wouldn't be mad to play it again, honestly. Um, it's on my YouTube channel if you ever feel like watching it. Um, I played it when I was cosplaying Tingle, so it looks pretty ridiculous, but it was a good time. Can I get this? Um, I streamed Donkey Kong Country 2 this morning and I kept uh, blowing it in places I breezed through. It's so frustrating. You're like, damn. I remember when I used to be good at this game. What the hell? I feel that 100%. You're just like, fuck. What happened to me? Who am I? Who even, who even have I become? <laughs> A shell of who I used to be. That just leaves Zelda's adventure? Yeah, I don't know anything about that one. I'm definitely not against trying it. Do I want to go this way? I think so. This looks right. <gasps> oh god, oh fuck. Walk up the stairs. You can do it. You can do it, Knuckles. I never understood the issue with collecting the blue coins. It's mostly fine. Turning them in sucks. Maybe I'm just a complaining whiner baby. That really could be it. <laughs> I uh, I could give it a shot someday. 100%ing Mario Sunshine sounds like it could be. When it comes to Mario Kart 64, I can still play with the best of them. Hey, hell yeah. I, um... I think I'm better at Mario Kart 8 at this point. 
But there was a time in my life where I was absolutely fucking cracked at Mario, 60, Mario Kart 64. I don't know if I'm quite there anymore, but I used to be incredible. Back in the day. Back in Fishy's 10-year-old prime, you know? When she was incredible at Super Mario Kart 64. No more. <gasps> Why do I keep getting hit by three Eggmans? This is so rude. Fuzzy, what's up? Mario Kart 64. We, uh, we've played it on stream before. I could We could do it again. Would you guys be interested in doing a community night of uh, Mario Kart 64? Because we could do it using uh, the Switch Online thing. I can't get used to the movement anymore. Yeah, it's a really tough uh, like change for sure. They, the movement feels so different. But battle mode is best in the 64 version in my opinion. I would totally be in. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's do it. Hey, look at that. Good. Yeah, we could do uh, battles too. Your official speedrunner? Oh yeah, Super Mario 64 for sure. We're officially speedrunners now. Uh, I didn't say a day. We'll just have to pick one. I'm not- I haven't planned that far in the future. But... We usually do a community night at least once a month, so... I don't plan my schedule more than a week in advance, so... But I'll be posting it soon. I'm tired and I felt like I missed it. Oh, no worries, no worries. That's okay. I'm I'm not that talented at knowing my schedule as far in advance. I usually like come up with my schedule on Monday or Tuesdays and post it for the week. Because if I don't post a schedule, then I just get overwhelmed the day of. Some people work better without a schedule. For me personally, when I don't decide ahead of time what game I'm gonna play, I like panic the day of, and I'll never choose. So I do best when I like pick at the beginning of the week. <laughs> Uh, trying to stay excited about Thousand Year Door Remake while everyone is bitching about it. Wait, why is everybody complaining? Hi Nintendo, it's good to see you. Why are people complaining about it? Is it because of the 30 frames per second thing? People need to get over themselves. Just enjoy what you like, you know? I was in a stream last night where there's a special guest playing on the Switch Mario Kart and he was like, everyone's cheating in a joking way. <laughs> He's like, y'all are cheaters. <laughs> My brain doesn't like schedules. See, it doesn't work for everybody. My brain loves schedules. I'm very much a scheduler. But that doesn't, you know, that's totally acceptable. Um, I like to mess with that how I will. That's totally understandable. Everyone's different. I'm very much a scheduling person. I like to have things kind of planned out, because the less I have to think about the day of, the better for me. Oh shit. Origami King was 30 and no nobody complained. Oh. Yeah, that's very weird. I never played Origami King. That's It's so weird that people get so bent out of shape about stuff like that. I don't understand it. Like, just, if you don't want to play the game, don't buy it. It's that simple. Oh no, that was so sad. That was so sad. If you don't want to play the game, don't buy it. That's how I feel. SMH not using motion controls. <laughs> I thought a lot of people complained about Origami King. It's not the frame rate. Maybe they did. I don't know. I never played Origami. The only Paper Mario I ever like picked up. Um, I played the Mario the N sixty four one a little bit, but like I never actually finished it. So I'm pretty like I'm pretty new to the Paper Mario scene in general. Uh, oh no! You know which one I played? Super Paper Mario, the one for the Wii, the one that everybody fucking hated. My favorite Mario Kart 64 character is Bowser. I love playing as Bowser or Toad. I can play as either. I'm flexible. Um, it's a JRPG. It does need 60, you think? <clears throat> Doesn't need 60. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just think that, um... It's kind of, like, hard, because people are gonna complain about shit no matter what. It's just frustrating to be excited for something. Um, it's frustrating to be excited for something and see only people being negative about it because I've been there and it's just such like a not fun experience to be like I'm so excited to be hype about this thing with the internet and then the internet's just being a bunch of dicks about it and you're like okay Toad drives me crazy sometimes yeah Toad is Toad is just really uh 
He's just super fast. Bowser, I like because you can just knock everyone off the roads. Uh, what's everyone being- what's the internet being dicks about? The Thousand Year Door remake, I guess. Everybody's complaining about the 30 frames per second thing. And I think it's just such a buzzkill when you're excited about something and people on the internet want to ruin it by complaining about something that doesn't matter. It's stupid. Um, I think I have Paper Mario on the GameCube. Oh nice, the Thousand Year Door original box is very, very expensive. So if you have it, hold on to it. Because it's pretty pricey to come by these days. The Goomba catcalling censorship? Oh, I didn't know about that. But I've never played Thousand Year Door, so I don't know about all that. Um, I'd like to play it eventually though. I might play the original. I'm not sure. I don't know, I kind of- I feel weird about playing a remake before playing the original, especially like when I love playing retro games. So like, when I do eventually play Thousand Year Door, I may just play like, you know, the GameCube one. But... I do own several expensive titles, retro is the best. Yeah, I, I just hate how expensive things have gotten to like, re it's fresh reading. People expect Nintendo to care about FPS, they don't. Yeah, they really don't. As seen by Link's Awakening remake that flipped between 30 and 60 every 5 minutes. It was terrible. <laughs> that bothered me because it was giving me a headache. Ah, shit. Uh, seem to be overcorrecting with their old jokes in their remakes. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean, it's hard because, I mean, they want to be politically correct and stuff, but, you know, you want to also remain with some of the charm of the old titles, too, so... I don't know. I don't know what the right call is there. Yeah, as long as it's consistent, I'm the same way, you know. I've just learned the best thing to do is stay away from fan bases. Yes, I just feel like I agree with you. Sometimes staying away from the fan base is the best way to do it. It really depends. They kept Peach's question mark. True, that's so. That's a good point. I was glad they did. Deciding the parts of my computer, I wanted to make sure I wasn't doing anything dumb, but I ended up letting way too many people's voices into my head and it was rough. It's tough. Yeah, because everybody's got confounding opinions. You just gotta do what's best for you. You know? Whatever makes the most sense for you is the best choice. I think I need to get him this way. Ah, whatever. <laughs> you imagine if they remade Conqueror's Bad Fur Day? <laughs> yeah, stuff that aged poorly, that makes sense. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Updating to change the times, I think that's totally fair. Well, I guess if they remade it for a Nintendo system. They remade it for Xbox, right? I don't think it would live uh, live on a Nintendo system. Nintendo would be like, ah! Clutching their pearls. They'd be like, we could never! Live and Reloaded was bad though, wasn't it? Most people said it wasn't great. He censored a bunch of it just because reasons. Oh, that's frustrating. I've been reloaded censored more than the N64. Oh, wow. That's so weird. I mean, I guess they'd have to, right? It was fine. Okay. I never played the remake, so I wasn't sure. I know it looked pretty good. The graphics looked really nice. But, um, I don't know much about it outside of what it looks like. Leave me alone. Can you turn the lights on? Excuse me. Um, yeah, it definitely didn't age well. I think it's, um, it's... The game is 100% worth playing. You just have to go into it understanding that there's a lot of jokes that are made in really bad taste. Jokes about self-harm and jokes about... Things that probably shouldn't be joked about. Um, but all that being said, there is a lot of good humor left over in the game. It's just the the humor that's bad is just really... It's just not funny. It's just very, like... It's stuff that, like... 
I don't know. I just find it to be like, yeah, it's really, really dark humor and it's stuff that like, I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I mean, I still love Conquer as a game. It's just some of the, the choices <laughs> and like, you know, it's just a different time. It was made in a different time. <laughs> South Park humor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good way to put it. I think it really depends on your headspace. Yep, shit was just- that was the point of the humor. It was like, how edgy- how edgy can we be? You're so right. And like, you know, then that was just the way humor was. But now we can do better. We can be funnier now. There's like- I think it's just like a cheap humor. Do you know what I mean? Where it's just like- I don't know. You can be funny by being edgy or you can be actually funny. <laughs> That's how I see it. Like, it's just a cheap form of humor. And that's alright. Can I get up here, please? Let me up. Yeah, it's punching down, exactly. That's exactly what it is. Like, we don't have to punch down anymore. My parents had no clue what it was. Yeah, I mean, I think the game is really fun. It's just, uh, it's definitely got its issues. Let me through, please. What is this nonsense? How am I supposed to get past this? I guess I have to do it faster. Maybe this pushes that up. I gotta go faster. Ha! You can either be funny or complain that you can't joke. It's true. I may be thinking of a popular 90s sitcom actor. Yeah, no, that's fair. I feel like it it's just, it has like, you know, dark humor has its place. It's just, how dark are you willing to go to make a joke, you know? Because it's, it can be harmful to, you know, focus on that kind of humor too much. <laughs> Couldn't watch Cow and Chicken because it was satanic. Oh, I get it. Cow and Chicken was a weird ass show. <laughs> like, so many shows back when we were kids were so fucking weird, Hale. Cow and Chicken is a great example, though. There was so much going on in that show where it's like, uh, what? <laughs> huh? Brother, let me up! Rocco's Modern Life is another great example. Yeah, I think Cow and Chicken probably had some, like, weirder humor to it. Because it was like, I don't know, it just had that like weirder vibe, I think. Rocco's Modern Life just had like some sexual jokes, I think. Nice. Oh <gasps> no! Oh my gosh, that would have been so rude. Stop it. Please let me through. Just want to get out of here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Give bonus. <clears throat> um, I think you can be dark with your humor without being offensive. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Um, kids should not have been watching Ren and Stimpy. Yo, Ren and Stimpy was fucked up. <laughs> I um, I really like uh Rocco's Modern Life. But Ren and Stimpy was meh, but Rocco's Modern Life I really liked. Angry Beavers. Oh, I love the Angry Beavers. Self roast. True. I think the animals getting annihilated in Conquer was hilarious. No, I mean, some of the humor was really, really funny in Conquer's Bad Fur Day. It was just some of it was a little too much, I think. Where, like, they're preying on the rot, like, I don't know. I don't think fat phobic jokes are funny. I don't think self-harm jokes are funny. I don't know. I just think stuff like that, it's like, you're softening people to that kind of stuff. Where it's like, oh, making jokes about self-harm are, like, fine and funny. And it's like, mm. Maybe in like a small circle of people where you all know each other really well, but as far as like jokes to the general public, I think it just kind of softens the whole subject in a bad way. That subject should be uncomfortable to talk about. It should be something that like we're careful when we're talking about because people struggle with that, you know? <laughs> um, I like Rocco's Doug and Rugrats. Oh my god, I fucking love Doug. I fucking love Doug so much and Rocco and honestly they're all good. Didn't care for most Nickelodeon shows, that's fair. Angry Beavers was fucking awesome. Animaniacs was okay. Um, 
But I fucking love- Doug was just such a cute and wholesome show. Mr. Fucking Dink. Mr. Dink was like goals, man. Right? Gray? Agreed. Mr. Dink was living the life. The man had it together. May we all someday live a life like Mr. Dink. Yeah, exactly, Jetpack. Exactly. You want to only make it around like- you never want to like hurt it. It's just for fun. As long as you know the people that- you gotta know your audience. I think it really helps to just know your audience. Whale man! Dude, we should do a whale man cosplay. That'd be so fun. Am I gonna run out of time for this level? I feel like I might. I'm feeling stressed. The orange case VHSs. Oh, they were elite. They were truly elite. What the hell is that? Oh, I forgot I need to get this. No, 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 no. Don't squish me. Don't squish me. No squishing. No squishing allowed. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Stressed. I'm stressed. Get up there. Go. My god, I'm shitting. Get up there! Oh my god, Fish, what are you doing? Go. Nice, nice, nice. Fuck Mondo Burger. Wait, what was Mondo Burger? <laughs> Good night, Donak. We'll see you later. Thanks for hanging. I appreciate you. Oh no, am I dead? Did I fuck up? Hopefully we're fine. I feel as if I'm going to run out of time. Welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. Can I take your order? Good time. I meant to get that. I love fucking all that, and we're just such good vibes. I know, he's been on SNL for a long time. It's such a bizarre thing to think about, isn't it? Am I lost in this level? Am I screwed? Or am I going the right way? I feel like this is taking a long time. Hi Jack, what's up? How you doing? I feel as if Group. I don't know, maybe not. What? Seems like you're going the right way, okay. I can tell. I feel like I always get lost in these like sand levels. It's always long and it's a maze. Okay, good. I'm glad I'm not screwing it up completely. At home. How do I oh my Oh my gosh. Oh shit, is this not what I need? Oh damn it, did I just screw myself? Panic, panic, panic. Go, go, go. How do I do it? How do I do it? Oh thanks, Dom, I appreciate that. That's so nice of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How do I get over there so fast? I don't know. I don't know how to get over there. This stinks. This is the Water Temple of Sonic games in my opinion. Yeah, it's so ass. I don't think I can do this. I get stuck. I'm stuck. Permanently. I to get back to Stellar Blade. Oh nice, how are you liking it? I have to do something with this. Oh, it holds it in place. Fuck. Damn it. I'm gonna run out of time now. Rip. Fucking rip. Take your time, Knuckles. No problem. <gasps> right. 
Rocket Power and Hey Arnold. Oh, I love Rocket Power. Such a vibe. Fuck off, Knuckles. Ah, real mo oh, I love the ah, real monsters. I always forget about that one. Wild Thornberries was also really good. I'm fucked. We're gonna die. We have a checkpoint somewhere, but... Fuck me. <laughs> hate it here. <laughs> I hate this place! <sighs> it was a good attempt. It was a good attempt. Where is it gonna put me? Oof, indeed. Let- just- I just wanna get out of here, truly. That's all I want. Arnold's grandma? Oh, she was such a precious little lady. So precious. Stoop! Kids afraid to leave the stoop! It is a fine goal, I agree 100%. Bro, Knuckles, you're pissing me off. The way he just, like, falls off the wall. Mm -mm, don't like it. Like, when you spend your time slowly climbing to the top of a wall for him to just be like, eh, and fall off of it. Like, I'm so sorry, but be so fucking for real. Just get up there. <laughs> just do it. You know what I want from you. Just climb the wall. That is your job. That is your literal job, my friend. Stoop, kids, afraid to leave the stoop. I think I need to hit this, even though I hate hitting it. Listen, he gets tired. I <laughs> I don't feel bad for him getting tired at all. I need him to just figure it out. Oh, fuck. Go, 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 go. I'm stressed, I'm stressed, I'm stressed. Honey Bravo was goaded. No, I think that was an essential caps. I think that was the right time to use caps. <sighs> Guys, I hate this level. Stressed. <laughs> I guess I'll make a little checkpoint, a little save state here. I don't, I don't know. Gosh, I'm stressed. Don't worry, this level hates you too. Good. She doesn't sound pleased. <laughs> she just no 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 <laughs> no no thank you for bringing Blair over to say hello the baby careful with her <laughs> her foot sticking out I could see her like accidentally closing stream and we'd be like okay bye <laughs> see you later like it's bed oh you look so bothered. What is? Bothered. Are you? <laughs> She's giving me <laughs> the evil eye. It's because her foot's dangling. Yeah. I tried to fix it, but it, she, it keeps popping back out. Yeah. Thanks oh. for bringing it over to say hi. You hear that cranky ass meow? Bear. <laughs> It is a plotting revenge phase, it really was. Does anybody have any pointers for me on this level? Cranky Mountain Meows are literally the cutest thing ever. The little creaky, like, the scratchy, like, stop loving me. <laughs> it's like, I will not. Be less slow. Okay, great. So helpful. Oh, this level sucks. Yeah, I'm stressed. I feel like I'm just constantly in fear of <sighs> of dying. Uh, Fishy, there are nine Baja men. Really? The Baja men have nine band members. It's crazy. I didn't know that. I can see why it's not liked. I just I don't like. I think it's a cheap move when a game has to one-hit kill you. I just find it to be a very cheap 
like, go-to. Do you know what I mean? Like, make it hard in a way that's challenging, not in a way of like, oh, you got lost and now you're stuck on sand and you die. I just don't find that to be a fun way to make a game, to me personally. <laughs> it's just stressful. It feels like work. At least it isn't a bullet sponge boss. What does that mean? Bullet sponge. Hi, yeah, Papa. You would hate every Final Fantasy Super boss ever. Wait, Final Fantasy Super? What's that? Or is it a super boss in Final Fantasy? Or pits in Dark Souls? Yeah, Papa. Dying to bottomless pits 5,000 times in Sonic advances Final Zone. Oh my god, that shit. What the hell was that? Did you guys see how fast that went? What the f quick? Did I push the turbo button by accident? That's stuff. Oh, I zipped. Oh, okay. I didn't see it. I didn't see the zipper! I did body the weapons in Final Fantasy VII. I mean, I cheated to do it, but I did it. So I think count it, right? I'm gonna make a little save state right here, because I feel like I'm doing well. Might have been a minor glitch. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, I didn't see a zipper or anything. <laughs> Achievement unlocked, count it. <laughs> we saw no cheating. I love a boss that will just wipe out my party for not killing them in under three minutes or whatever. Dude, fuck all of that. That's like my least favorite type of game design. Don't put a timer on me. Don't do it. Just quit it. Being timed for shit? No thank you. Call me a baby, I guess, but I don't like it. Where I have to push the block thing? Yes, it is. Fuck off. Straight up, fuck off. If you play Final Fantasy again, which one are you leaning? Probably nine. I think nine is probably where I'm leaning next. Is that a good choice? Effort Mystic Quest is a good option. This is where I need to push block. But how push block when Scorpion there? Please let me up. <laughs> How do you do Final Fantasy X? I don't think I will. It's too long. I hate this. <laughs> I hate this so much. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Let me up. <laughs> this is so ass. <laughs> I saw on Twitter that Chrono Trigger has a voice acting mod. Oh, really? Oh, that's exciting. Final Fantasy IX is your favorite. Ten is good. It's just really long. Please die. Just fucking die. Yep. Chrono Trigger has a voice acting mod? Yeah, I didn't know that. That's really cool. So how do I get this to go up there? You just don't? You just help yourself? Aren't they all long? Yeah, Final Fantasy X is particularly long though. Yeah, so this is the spot I could have this up here before, but I think I missed one of the little uh, triggers to make the sand go up, so now I think I'm fucked. Which is really cool. <gasps> Thank you for the biddies, go ahead. I appreciate that. I don't think you missed it. Well, motherfucking Mystic Quest. Mystic Quest would be fun. Oh, here it is. Dragon Quest Eleven. I kept thinking it would end, and then it didn't. Is it really that long? I never, uh, I never got very far in Dragon Quest Eleven. Mystic Quest is fun and cheeky, but more casual by design. I'd probably really like that. Ten is tied for seven with my favorites. I really like ten. I think I just, I played it when I was older, so I remember more of it. Um, 
and I really just didn't enjoy the sphere grid very much. Um, not to say that I would never play it on stream, I just think I'd rather- so sad. I think I'd rather, uh, I'd rather play a game that, like, is less, you know, fresh in my head. Hi, this one guy, welcome in. <laughs> it's good to see ya. Why did nobody tell me I was at zero rings? Hmm? How come no one told me? I thought we would be able to beat this tonight, but I'm, now I don't think that's gonna happen. This level is, uh, destroying my will to work. <clears throat> it's the perfect fish RPG because it's less involved. Oh, that's really nice. Also, chat, you know I love that. You'll still be fine, bruh. How many more levels do we have? And how many more are in the sand zone? Because this is horrible. Unless you weren't referring to this. Oh my god. I don't even want a bonus. I don't even want it. Fuck. No, no, no. Turn around. Thank you. Ah, shit. You can press forward and move forward again. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> I was making it way harder. <laughs> Will we end with a chaos emerald? No. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Would be nice though, wouldn't it? You've gotten better though, thank you. I didn't know I could just turn around, that would have probably considerably. There we are again in my favorite room. My favorite. There isn't much left, okay. Well, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Try my best, bro. <laughs> I don't know if we're ever getting out of this fucking level. <laughs> we live here now. Maybe save state after this room. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Or else I'm gonna lose it. This scorpion is making me question all of reality. <laughs> well, sound like they're saying otter. Oh, yeah! I hear it. I know exactly what you're talking about. No, I hear it. The personas fall into that IMO, anything that's turn-based. I really like turn-based RPGs, I do. I don't have a problem with them. I think it's just, um, games that require me to read a lot of dialogue while I'm streaming. I have a really hard time following the story at the same time, because I'm, like, paying so much attention to what we're talking about and, like, what chat has to say and, like, you know, whatever, that I get wrapped up in it and then I don't realize what's going on in the, in the game. Which I know is a skill issue. Yeah, voice JRPGs are probably better for stream. Um, I don't know how to do this room. Because I can't jump far enough. Now the ghosts are getting... I don't know what to do. Oh my goodness. Persona is another way to use 100 hours. Dude, I don't know if I could ever do a Persona game. I don't know, especially not on stream. It would be a struggle. Lord help me. I bounced off three of them. You just fly from the left, but start gliding from higher. Okay. Knuckles, I swear to God. I have to go glide from higher? Question mark? <laughs> you can't go higher than this. Oh my goodness. Dude, jumping close, too close to the ceiling. Oh, too close to the ceiling. Thank you. So we gotta like... These ghosts go away. Jump. Push this. Jump here. 
Eh. Gotta arc it, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is where we live now. Thank God. Please let me leave. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. Oh shit. At least I think I remember how to do this boss. I'm pretty sure. I remember him from doing it as Sonic, I think. I think this one's pretty easy to recollect your ring, hopefully. Cocky little freak! <laughs> I'm anything but cocky right now. I'm like, I was like one more death in that area from Tilt. Which is funny, because like I normally don't <laughs> don't get tilted, but we were getting close. We were getting close to a good old fashioned fishy tilt. <laughs> Leave it to a sand sonic level to tilt me off the face of the earth. We get squished. Um, I'd likely take normal- yeah, oh yeah, going- especially if you're reading dialogue out loud, it's very- it's- it's hard to stream long JRPGs like that. Okay, now that I know how to get past this, hopefully it's bad. Wasn't the checkpoint just for the boss? I don't want to waste any of my lives, though. We're running low. We already have- we have two. You know? And now I think I know how to do this, hopefully. I'm not sure if I have a continue. I don't know how to tell. Hi, this guy! Welcome in! Good to see ya. Even though this jump is ass. I think, uh... I think this level is my nightmare. I think if I, like, died... And went to hell, it would be playing this level eternally. <laughs> Don't give the devil ideas, honestly, you're right. Fuck me. Tilted at the Sonic Advance level. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was bad. <laughs> that was really bad. <laughs> that one was so rough. Oh fuck off. What the hell do you mean? <laughs> Just <die. laughs> Is it called Robo Eggman? I don't know. I thought it would have a funner name. Something, like, based in sand. Fucking squished. All my homies hate getting squished. The pilot- oh, I guess I meant the big robot thing. This is uh, something. For some reason, I'm shocked that this is so much harder for me as uh, Knuckles. 
Like, I remember this part being, like, this boss being Cake as Sonic. Wait until you play the other Sonic Advance games. I might not. <laughs> Low jump, yeah, it's gotta be. This is a boss, it's ass. <laughs> this whole area of shit. <laughs> I'm suffering. I'm truly suffering. I have to go to bed. Good night, Pookie. We'll see you later. Thank you so much for hanging. I'm not far behind you, unfortunately. I wanted to beat this tonight, but I don't think it's gonna happen. I think we're gonna finish this round, this world, and then call it. Because uh, I can't imagine me going through a final boss sequence after this. <laughs> you have half a zone left? Oh, do I? I can't even get through this. How many bosses are there at the end of that half a zone, though? Final boss is pretty short. Okay. I'll trust you. I trust you. Despite this being the worst thing ever. Two. Good night, Pookie. We'll see you later. Thanks for hanging. I'll be here till 4 a.m. doing this. This is my life now. Okay, I just need to focus. I need to not pay attention to chat, and I need to focus. I should really go to bed, Donnie. Um, go to sleep if you have to. This looks like it. Honestly, is pretty close to it. Ah, Papa, it's a. Uh, it's not great. It is not a fun boss at all. But also, I'm not like focusing. So here I go. Here I go. Nice, solid start, babe. Am I gonna watch the Knuckles show? I don't know, I keep hearing people talk about it. Is it actually good? Yeah, 4.24 a.m. Sheesh. Just let it happen, Egg Golem. Just let it happen. Thank God. My goodness. Release me from this hell. Thank you for the clapping. <laughs> I'll play the advanced games for you, quote. Are they good or are they ass? It's barely a knuckle show at all. Oh, really? Oh. I'm behind on the lore. Oh, the second Sonic movie's good. It's really cute. Okay, safe state. Had, had me worried that you weren't gonna make it, bro. I was worried too. I, I was born worried. <laughs> Advance 2 is kind of hit or miss for me. Did they fix Amy? Is she viable now? Can you actually play as Amy? What the shit is that? R.I.P. my, uh, bitrate, by the way. I'm sick in here- I'm sick and tired of hearing the- the, the ring sound. I'm gonna keep it 100% with you guys. I'm tired of hearing it. Amy's the hardest to unlock. Oh, really? Interesting. That's cool. Unlocking Amy's a bitch. That's interesting, because you get her in the first uh, Sonic Advance um, without having to unlock her.
I feel like getting the Chaos Emeralds in any of these games would be a pain. From just from my experience of like seeing how to get them, it just seems like it would be a pain. She's tired of this game. <laughs> no, how can you tell? <laughs> Not at all. This is the best. <laughs> I love it. It's so much fun. <laughs> Derek's here, hi Derek. Whoops, save file corrupted. Yeah, whoopsie, you guys will never finish it. Whoopsie later. <laughs> Dang, what a shame. Is this gonna squish me? Oh no. Go, go, go. The hell is that? Get away from me! I think you're funny, huh? So funny game, putting that right there where I can't get it. What is this? Mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. -mm -mm. So rude. This game is rude. We are in the poison gas, I saw it. I just didn't know how to get away from it. <laughs> Oh, it didn't register? Yeah. That makes sense. The poison gas didn't show up for you guys. Yeah, there was poison gas. I did see it, I just didn't know that uh, I could- I don't know how to avoid it. I don't know how to get out of it. Yeah, the flickering effects don't show up well, it's true. It only shows up for like a second. It takes the cake that the- on the worst way to collect the emeralds- oh, for Sonic Advance 2? Why is that? I don't wanna- I don't wanna fuck with those poison gas things. I don't. Is that what the seizure-inducing cloud is? Y yes. It's exactly what it is. Little poison gas moment. Shit. Gotta press this. So rude. How do I avoid that bitch? Don't know how. I don't know how to avoid him. Unclear. Guess I just like go for it. Yeah, nice. Solid. Graceful. See, this is why we make safe states. Dude, fuck off. I was at work the other day when you went to the zoo. Did you have fun? I had a great time at the zoo. My phone overheated though, which was a shame. So like, we didn't really get a chance to like do uh, what I wanted to. I wanted to see more stuff, but it got really hot outside, unfortunately. Dude, how is anybody? What is the what is the purpose of this? Approach the area with more speed. Okay. destroy the thing that's spraying gas, yeah. I struggled with this part too. Okay, good. I'm glad it's not just me. Spin dashes? Okay, that's good to know. Thank you. Okay. So we got a we got a checkpoint. You love to see it. Have a straightaway without immediate death. Love that for me. Spoke too soon. Hi Dynastic, how you doing? It's good to see you. I'm doing good, how are you? Other than, uh, Sonic 3 hating me, things are going well. Volk is convinced I can beat this tonight. I'm not convinced. But we're gonna try our best. Oh, 
Oh yeah, happy belated. Good memory. The button. I can't even tell. Oh, I want to go this way. I fully believe. You'll see why soon. <laughs> I was gonna say, I, uh... I am doubting. I don't like to doubt you both, but... R.I.P. bitrate. Oh, shit. Save state, but I might regret that. I made it on the. Oh, this is this is the end boss. Okay. Isn't this like the end end? I remember this being like the the final the final bossy boss. Pretty sure. Oh, it's not. I was thinking of the fingers, the little fingies. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like on the final boss, there was that situation where I had to hit the hit the little hands. But I think I got him confused. Maybe it borrows elements. Yeah, 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 it must. I did make a save state at the beginning of that spot, but I already had gotten hit by a ring, uh, thingy, so I didn't want to, like, do it with no rings. Dude, a lava waterfall would be amazing to see, but absolutely terrifying. Hard no thank you. <laughs> you could be warm for the rest of your life, or, like, you could immediately burn up and never return, you know? It could go either way. Bruh, are you serious? <laughs> that is the rest of your- oh, true, you're right. I thought the sparklies would protect me from the poison gas, but it does not. Fun fact. Fun facts, in case you guys didn't know. <laughs> Get up there. Get up there, you turd. I never understood the point of Knuckles. Enjoy it, bros. Like, in general? Or do you mean in this game? Because I can- I'm- <laughs> I could probably agree with you right now. You can do it, VG, thank you! I appreciate it. I'm fighting the tilt. Seems like a better point to make a save state. We got more rings than just a couple. We have none! We have no Chaos Emeralds. I, my, uh, <laughs> my strong suit are not side-scrolling Sonics, and they never will be. I've just accepted this as truth. I lost? No way! I didn't notice. It's crazy. Don't get hit, don't get hit. I got hit. <laughs> That's what safe states are for though. Okay, hold on. We take a break, we take a water break, we take a sip. Sippy. <clears throat> then we resume. Yeah. Oh, oh thank you for the oh. Wow. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. He, wow. <clears throat> he, ho, whoa. Wow. That's interesting, he but I sure don't wow. care. He, me, stupid spaghetti arm. Metal, metal ass spaghetti arm. Is that a giant yeah, robot hand? Yeah. It is. I don't know why that didn't hurt. Yeah. Hey. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Thanks for the whoa. 
first Sonic game I played, I had thought that that was the first appearance oh, for an embarrassing yeah. amount of time. Oh, um, you thought Knuckles was the like, his first time he showed up was Sonic Adventure? I mean, that's fair. I think that's a like, totally, like, reasonable thing. I didn't really play Sonic until Sonic Adventure either. Chaos Emeralds, oh I see, I see, I see. <clears throat> oh, I'm being careful. I'm trying. I'm trying. I think we rented Sonic and Knuckles. I, uh, I never played, like, any of the 2D scrolling ones as a kid, really. I had, like, me. I had, uh, um, Sonic Advance, and that's pretty much it. It's so fucking hard to see those little, like, bubbles floating through the air on this background. It's so, so hard to see. Like, they're- they may as well be invisible eyeballs, too. I use a Sonic Adventure 2 Prima Guide. Oh, nice! That's so cool! I never had one for Sonic Adventure. It would be really cool to have had one, though. I had one for uh, a few different games, but never had one for Sonic. Damn it. You got this, Fish. Thanks, Heather. I, I'm, I don't think I have it in me to finish the game. Because I- I'm- I'm quickly losing, uh, my ability to have fun with the game. <laughs> I don't want to hate it. <laughs> I know Volk is encouraging me to continue, but... I feel- I foresee this taking, like, another hour, and I just don't think I have it in me. <laughs> Yeah, because, like, if this boss takes me another 20 minutes and we still have, like, a whole nother zone after this, it's like, I can do it. Start Tuesday? Yeah. True. Yeah, we'll have to do this first. I do want to beat this boss first, but... If we can. <clears throat> Maybe not. Maybe <laughs> not. <laughs> um, if this boss takes us another 20 minutes, buy us all cars? What? You want me to buy you guys cars if I can't beat a boss? Can you explain that logic to me? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> um... You're legit playing with Tilt, and that's no fun for anyway. You'll probably win with a fresh perspective. That's true. I think... I think I'm, like... I'm surprised that this one's so much harder for me with Knuckles and for, uh, for Sonic. Can we get Hot Wheels? I want a car and I don't want to pay for it. Dude, don't we all? Don't we all? That would be nice. Because, uh, I remember this boss with, oh yeah, absolutely. The shorter jump makes this way harder. Because it's way harder to get, like, up on top of everything. Free cars? Where? I think, I think Enjoy It Bros is volunteering to buy people in chat a car. I think that's what's happening. Which is very nice of him. Okay, 
one down, unfortunately. Very. Not for me, but feel free to volunteer. <laughs> Would be nice, wouldn't it? I think you're uh, you're barking up the wrong tree, though. I'm a millennial, so I just did. Yeah, I missed this day. I was hoping nobody would notice. Me. <laughs> Good thing too. I was trying to be sneaky with it. So then you know we're both broke. Mission success? True! Yeah, no, we got it. We got it. We got it! Ooh. Thanks for the applause. Thank you very much. My eyes are well bleeding. Done. Thank you for the well done. My eyes with this background are killing me. Okay. As much as I wanted to beat this tonight, I think we will finish it first thing on Tuesday. And then uh, play something else. I don't know what else we'll play on Tuesday. I'm not sure. But I do want to finish this. But it's not going to happen tonight. In less than 20 minutes. Congrats. Thanks, dude. Um... Yeah, I think I think that's a good idea because I'm getting sleepy. We've been going for a while, and uh, I don't want to like get annoyed with the end of the game and not enjoy it. So I think I think that's the best way to go. Um, I made a little safe state, so we've got that. Um, and Mario 64 speedrunning. Hey, we could, we could. Thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't know what we're doing next week other than I know a week from today. We'll be doing our um, cosplay stream, so if you want to see me dressed up like Petey Piranha and looking like a little idiot, come through on Sunday, because uh, that's what we'll be doing. So I'm excited. That should be a really good time. Uh, but other than that, I'm not sure what the rest of the week is going to look like. Probably be playing some um, of our Link to the Past ROM hack, at least. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Uh, but thank you guys so much. Thank you. I think you're cooler too. Joy Bros, thanks for being here. Tuba, Dynastic, Hefe, Travel, thank you guys so much for being here. Quote, Donnie, Miri, thank you guys, y'all are the best. Demo Worm, Sonic, uh, Tuba, anybody who's lurking, thank you so, so much for being here. I really appreciate you. Drake, it was so nice to meet you, by the way. I know you came through uh, during this stream. Uh, we have a Discord if you'd like to join. I'm usually live uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays, right around this time. Um, but yeah, thanks for hanging. I really appreciate it sleep well you too if you need an idea to start mystic quest oh i could but i thought you guys wanted to play super metroid didn't we want to play super metroid as a family we also have i have a bunch of ideas i mean you know i'm chock full of gaming i also really want to play earthbound but you know time will tell time will tell okay who are we gonna go say hi to which one of our friends is live who should we go say hello to um, we have some people playing Donkey Kong Country, uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Um, uh, oh yeah, something casual and <laughs> true. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. Um, we have someone playing Super Princess Peach, how cute. Um, someone doing art. Baldur's Gate. There's been a lot of people playing Baldur's Gate lately. Yoshi Story. Oh, that'd be fun. Um, Supermarket Simulator. Ooh! I never get to raid Simone. I think we're gonna go say hi to Simone. 
Because she's playing Supermarket Simulator, and I think that would be really, really fun. Yeah, true. Uh, Super Metroid's probably gonna kick my ass. Well, I feel like there's a new round of people playing it. Um, Baldur's Gate 3 is very good. Yeah, I've been- I played up to, uh, Act 2, and then I, I like, stopped playing. Uh, I need to get back into it. My partner and I were playing- Oh, look, the gamer lights went out. See, we're at perfect timing. Perfect timing. Um, good night, Volk. Thank you so much for hanging. I appreciate you. Good night, Jeff guy. Um, it won't be too bad. We'll see. We'll see. Fingers, cro fingers crossed. Hopefully we won't get our asses kicked. Um, did a Baldur's Gate remix of the side of style of Cyberpunk? Oh, that sounds really fun. It is closing time. It's closing time. We beat one game. We didn't beat the second game, but we'll beat it Tuesday. I believe in us. Um, let's go say hi to our friend Sun so Sunshine Simone. Um, she's awesome. Um, she's playing some supermarket simulator. Let's go say hello to her. Um, thank you guys so much for hanging. I appreciate you so much. Mods, thank you as always for all of your help. Y'all are the best. Take care. I will see you guys on Tuesday. Um, but thank you. And yes, I'll take all the Metroidvania tips I can, I can get because I need them. <laughs> I definitely need them. All right, y'all are the best. I will see you guys on Tuesday. Uh, have a great Monday. Take care of yourselves. Drink plenty of water, okay? Keep drinking water. Do it. Okay, bye. I'll see you later.